Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. And in this episode, I'm going to enter the Tower of Babel for the first of two times. So without further ado, time to get straight into it. And as you can hear, great music. You hear this, I believe, in the final dungeon as well. It might be a, a similar one, but not quite the same. Anyway, look at that Ridio with over half a health taken off. Cha ching. Nah, no, I'll stop being a moron anyway. What next I will use? Ice 2 on everything. And then Kane needs to get going because I want to jump and smack. Smack that tortoise right around the face. It's a good thing Cecil can protect. Because, yeah. Not good. <coughs> yeah, cane wasn't needed. But never mind. I mean, black magic is pretty good. I look all that, it's so fascinating to see all the numbers go fast. Anyway, that'll do for that. Oh, Cade needs a bit of TLC. There we go, that'll do. Right, oh, no, I don't want that. Right, let's get going. Go this way, get ice arrows. Just what I wanted. Oh, of course you still get these. Should be child play though. But not the Chucky version. Sixty-eight. Not bad for Ridia, I guess. Yes, I know I'm very horrible to Ridia, aren't I? Oh nice one, Rosie. You, you, you dodged it. Unless Marion just has like oh the bad swing. There we go. <clears throat> Not really the best of treasure, but fair enough. And yeah, I don't like how you have to do like a snake thing to get over to there, but never mind. Anyway, I've no longer got the ice um Thing, but should still be able to take them out in at least two turns, maybe. Oh, come on, with you. I mean, look, Yang's getting one damage dealt off him at the back. That would be two at the front. Come on, man. You know how it is. Oh, it'd have been so good if she just like managed to kill it then, <laughs> and she was so close to killing it. Of course she was. I need to put ice arrows <clears throat> on Rosa, especially if you're going to get flame dogs. I mean, I could waste magic, but I only use it if it's necessary. And I don't think it's necessary. It's not really necessary. Whoa, how well, much to Cecil? There's no need for that much. Done. Yeah. And obviously Cecil gets the uh, final blow. You know how it is. Anyway. Rosa, there we go. Put ice on. There we go. And now she can use some lovely magic. But she can heal up pretty quickly, which is nice. Yang can stay with what he's got because he's got he's got enough. Sure, everybody should get to about level thirty by the end of this, maybe. <coughs> well, yeah, that should happen. It depends how much experience needed to level up, but I'm not going to check on the status because not too fast. It would be nice to be on level thirty by the end of this. But yeah, I'm starting slowly to closing on the end. 
of the game. Not quite yet though, but getting there. So obviously a bandana has to go to someone who's good with karate. I mean, it makes sense because it does lower magic. So yeah. But right, now it's time to start using magic. So you can use Ice 2 on the Flame Dog. And Kane can actually start jumping because it's actually important to do that now. And Rosa also has um, Ice Arrows, which is nice. Ice 1 was probably enough, but never mind. 194, pretty good. One damage again, you know. Oh, come on, Kane. You silly little misses. Flame Man, what a name. Oh, still alive. He's got over 350 health. But yeah, look at Yang bossing it over there. Taking a minuscule amount of damage. But there we go. Whoop whoop. Everybody's celebrating because, well, they deserve to. So yeah, it's clearly obvious that this is not the one you want to go in. But it's a monster chest. And yeah, if you kill it quick, I believe it doesn't, um... Said anything at all, it's just when you attack it. Stone Golem, here we go. Now we're talking. You seriously survived. So yeah, Beam, I believe, takes 10% of everybody's health. Why are you missing? There's no need to miss. Oh wow, so magic isn't the best against it. As you can clearly see. Don't know why I'm not jumping. I probably should jump. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, there we go. You can tell that's about 10%. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not rushing with um, this playthrough. Don't know how long it will take me to get through the tower. I guess I just gotta go, you know, just gotta go. Right, whoever gets this attacking might kill it or destroy it, shall we say? Nope. It could be a good um, strategy for um, grinding. I know people do it when you get the um, better version of those um, alert things. I forgot what they're called. They could be called, like, I, I don't know what they're called. I think it might be something I. Um, but, yeah, they're really good. Oh, wow, that damage. They're really good because the amount of damage, sorry, the amount of times you have to hit them before they go down. And then <clears throat> every time you defeat one of the um, enemies, no, I think there's two enemies it brings, like these two robotic enemies, every time you defeat one of them, it brings one back, you don't actually have to attack it for that. Anyway, Blizzard, lovely. Surely that's better. I don't know, it could be. Um... Is it good to lose that on 80? Actually, yes, because for some reason jumping won't work well with the drain sphere, and I don't remember jump missing a lot. So, yeah. I hope this is not the one you... Yeah, good. <clears throat> right, time to do this. Oh, my Jesus. Right, you use ice to... On that son of a bitch. And you jump that son of a bitch. And then Yang gives a kick to everybody. And we're cooking. Great damage. So yeah, as you can see, this is the um, <clears throat> part in the game where they start 
stepping up the amount of health the enemies have, then they start becoming not pushovers. See how much this does. Oh my Jesus Christ, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. 4,160, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, as you can see, this spear is very good to um, have at this point. That's that one down. Now everybody else just needs to finish this one off. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, he's doing better with the blizzard spear, which is nice to see. Monsters again, but it's fine. Jump on that son of a bitch. Parry. Parry. Just waiting. There we go. Oh, no. Not the Chimera. Oh, and you can't even really use any magic against it because, yeah, not a good idea. Ridia's back down. I know it has I know it has the move Blaze. <clears throat> which will probably just wipe out Ridia, so it needs to die quick. I believe it has about 1200 HP. I don't remember. There we go, here's the Blaze. And that's full. Ridia oh no, it had nowhere near as much. Crap. It's fine though. Ooh, Ice Brand, yes. Nice. It's got to be better, surely. Oh. That is surely amazing. That is truly amazing. Anyway, enough of me being a moron. I hope you have a um, nice Christmas as well. I know, I'm like, it's Christmas Eve, I haven't said it yet. I was going to leave it to the end, but as I say it now, hope you all have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. And whatever you do during the day to celebrate, hope is a good one. And may your days be merry. No, I'm not going to sing. No, 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 no. No way, Jose. No way. Oh, so I'll go to sing anyway. See, look, I'm just a moron. Cat claw. Oh, lovely. This cat has claws. I prefer poison, because you know what, why not? It's only one damage more, but yeah, oh god. I don't like this floor already, because um, there's three different ways to go. Oh, egg, I believe these can come out as Liliths, or is it Lamias? It could be Lamias, but I got rid of it in one shot, so there we go. I don't know if you get more if it hatches, but it's fine. Right, up or down? I'm gonna go down. And I'll take you to Brown Town. And I've got Ice Brand and Blizzard. Oh my god. Actually, the Black Blizzard can be called Blizzard. Because. It begins with a B and it's got Blizzard in it. Blizzard, oh my god. Everything to do with Blizzards in this battle. It's absolutely amazing. I didn't do as much as I wanted it to, never mind. Go on, Yang, finish the bitch off. Before he jumps. Yes. Now you can jump on that one. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, never mind. Oh, never mind. Amazing. See, it pays off to actually properly explore. Oh, that is the way to go. I don't like it. Or is it the way to go? I don't know anyway, I'm gonna speed this up just in case. I'll have a look around a bit first and see. Um Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. 
Yeah, I know there is a, a boss battle soon to come up with, um, what's his name again? Is it Dr. Loogie? Yes, it's Dr. Loogie. And his little robot friend. Anyway, time to take out these bitches. Oh, yes, paralyzed. I mean, what can I say? I mean, my weapons are doing all the talking here, aren't they? Whatever. Don't care. I hope that wasn't... The, well, I hope that was the way to go, so that when I come over here, this isn't actually the way to go, and it's just, like, an extended um, area just for getting stuff. I don't think it is. I don't remember there really being any areas like that. But to be fair, I'd rather it use Petrify because it's gradual petrification. It isn't straight away. But there we go, Paralysis. Amazing. Over here we go, over here we go. In here. Oh, I think it was the way. I hate it when I don't go the right blooming way, you know. It's just sad. I'll keep on going just in case, though. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the way to go. Come on. Oh, of course I'm surprised. Every time it's tortoises, I'm always surprised. And every time Riddy is attacked, he's always so much damage. No, I'm joking. Anyway. Time to take these out. One. Two. Three. Oh, look, I can count to three. Whatever. I don't know what enemy to expect. I don't know if it's going to be another Chimera or not. Oh no, it, it's a Naga. A Wujirada. Say Naga. You need to know the balance. The Nat West balance. The Barclays balance. Anyway, I'll stop. Quite finished? Yeah, he's quite finished. There we go. What have I got? Ice Shield. A lovely. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway. There we go, that'll do. Speed up the battles when I go to head back. But yeah, I kind of muffed that up. I know I know where the area is where I could that area down there is the area I was just at. And I thought it was the way to go. Well, that's just a troll area. You get loads of those in Final Fantasy 2 because I've just recently finished the main game. And I'm starting the um, bonus, I guess you could say, episode, Soul of Rebirth. And yeah, um, it's, it looks alright so far. But yeah, it doesn't really matter if you get a surprise with an egg because it can't do anything until it hatches. But if you manage to one-shot it. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, but anyway. I like how they keep on giving me eggs, because it's, like, so easy to deal with. Is this the door, or is it the other door? It was this door. Right, let's head back. No problem, because I can fast-forward it. At least it's giving me eggs so that I don't have to waste MP healing back up again. That's always nice to see. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Wow, literally all I needed to do was take like a few steps down and then it would have been sorted. Oh, there we go. Now he's getting a crap ton of damage dealt to him. 924 at the back, that's pretty good. Haha, <laughs> I missed Rydia. Oh, that, that's shameful. 
Oh, that, that must suck. Missing video. Anyway. I had to go back on myself and I'm still doing alright. Don't even think I need to use a tent either. Nah, I wouldn't have to use a tent. I'll be fine. I will save though. It's always safe to do that. But it does get quite hard near the end. Um, just not quite yet. Look at that Yang one shot in. One shots in the house. Yo yo. Alright, oh, made it back. And then once I've um, healed up, time to continue onwards. And we'll do more heals um, just before I go meet Dr. Algi, I mean Loogie. I usually always um, use a tent here. But sometimes if I don't need to, I won't. Yeah, it might make it a tad bit harder than before, but I like challenges, so why not? So yeah, that is the door right there that you saw at the left. But there was a door up here as well. Did I go in this one? No, I did not. Is that always a set battle there? Because I'm always getting battles like a step before the treasure chest. Or is it just a coincidence? I feel like it is. Oh dear, now Rose is in trouble. Maybe not. One dead. Two dead. Don't leave me hanging. Come on, Kane, finish it off. And three dead. Oh, oh dear. I was waiting a long while then. Never mind. All oh, flame. You see, now I'm in a predicament because it's probably going to have the same attack power. But I oh, know it's one that I've already seen. What am I doing? Oh, it's because it was a normal, it's a normal battle. That's why. Anyway, what's he got? Loads of silver gear. Oh, I see. You know, I realise this. Well, I didn't realise now, but I did realise that he's the only left-handed character, I believe. Could be wrong. Let's just bum rush everything. Oh, it's a flame dog. Oh, you do not realise how much trouble you're about to be in as soon as Cecil attacks you. You do not realise how much. How much ice is going to put out that burn? But luckily for you, you didn't get you didn't get extinguished. So yeah, so yeah, ice gear is resistant to fire. Fire is resistant to ice. And it seems weird. You'd think ice um, is resistant to ice and weak to fire. And fire is resistant to fire, weak to ice, but nope. I'm waiting for some attacks. I'm going to speed this one up. I mean, you've seen loads of these battles already. It's fine. Oh dear, come on, Cecil. You need to, you need to protect your bitch, man. Nah, there's no, there's no way to call it, but yeah. It basically is his bitch. Come on, that's it, Yang, finish it off. And then... See, if um, Chimera goes for a blaze, Rose is dead. But it died before that could happen. So you've seen that battle enough times. Not enough to um, finish everybody off, though, you know. Everybody's still standing. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Looking for a soul survivor. 
Acting like a little kid. Yeah, I'll stop. It's not a lot of damage, yo. Kick them both. Why not? Yeah, and kick them. Kick them right in their blooming jaw. But yeah, come here. are probably the worst enemies here. I don't know. Well, not worst as meaning they're literally crap enemies. In terms of, like, I guess, difficulty. If they're really that difficulty. Yes, that's it. Just, like, put the words Fug Life on this video. Get a picture of my face and just put sunglasses on it. You know, just make me a meme. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. So, yeah, Cecil seems to get the crap beaten out of him with Blaze. 600 odd. Unless it goes by half of the maximum health. Nah, it can't do because it deals quite a lot to a lot of them. Right, Cecil needs to be nice and healthy because he's the protector of the group. Everybody else can afford, afford to have a bit of um, beat still in them. You know, it's okay if they've got a few splinters in their face. Anyway, I believe this is the final floor. Yeah, it is that bridge right there. Leads you right to him. Right. No more messing around, Kane. Come on, let's go. I don't know why I went to fast forward. There's no need to do that now because I'm back on track. And the right route. I mean, they put it. They don't put the um, save point too far away, but it's quite far away compared to um, other dungeons when they sometimes put it quite close to the boss. Well, some dungeons do, but. Don't know why I went to kick, I guess I just wanted to make sure. Definitely hit. It was 644, so I think it was half the health. Or half a set of health, anyway. Why would I want to use fire, you moron? Yeah, I got an ear right at the back. I'm gonna get to fight Dr. Loogie soon. Don't get confused when I call him Algy, that's a joke, but I know some people might actually think he's called that if I say it too much. That'll do. Nearly there. Ugh. Ugh. 2000 GP. Is that it? No, I'm joking. That's actually pretty nice. Is it just literally Chimeras from here on in? Right, I just don't want to face Chimeras again. Right, rinse and repeat then. Just chopping them up like it's 1969. Don't know why I said that, just ignore me. Whoop, whoop, they're dead. Cecil gained a level, is that 30 or 29? It's 30. We've still got three to go up to 30, but as I said, I think it can happen. Because of, the, because of that mishap that happened um, with me accidentally going, going the way, the wrong way to progress through the dungeon, but the right way to go get some stuff. And yeah, oh, of course I'm surprised, of course I am. Oh, well, you know what that means? And as you can see, they're pretty um, large dungeons. And, um... You come here twice. But you get you, you enter a different way, as um, you'll find out soon. I, I don't remember if you go there consecutively, I think. Yeah, because you go here and then... You report back to Giot, and then he says that he wants you to go back in. Um, and then you take this, like, a mini dungeon. It's like a cave that connects to it, and then you go there. So kind of consecutive, if you don't count that small dungeon that just gets you to a different part of the Tower of Babel. Oh god, there's something there. That could be another save point. I think it is, actually, now I think of it. I might use a tent here. I don't know. I guess it just depends what happens on the way back through. Oh no, it isn't. It's much further away to go. Don't even need to come here, do I?
What am I doing here for? No, this is for later, actually. What am I doing? This is for later. This is for later. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing there. <clears throat> There's no need to be there yet. Whatever. Chop. You know, I don't remember. I don't remember if I got that chest. Oh, God's sake. Yeah, I believe you don't have to go. Yeah, I don't remember now. I did get that chest, God's sake. What's all that? I don't remember what that was all, all for. Unless it's just a bonus bit, but I know Dr. Lug is in that bit. I don't remember now, I really don't. Oh, nice one. Ocean man, take me by the hand. No, because I'm sure as soon as you fight Dr. Lou, you just have to get out. Oh, as I said, I don't remember. Deary me. It's a shame you can't paralyse Chimeras, because it would be really helpful too. Ah, you missed. Or is this locked? You see, I don't remember. <sighs> I was going the right way. I did it again. Tofu, what the hell? Right, they look like they can easily be destroyed with fire. Could be absolutely wrong, because the theme of this dungeon seems to be fire. And you'll find out why eventually. Just not yet. Well, I think you could get it. All I'm going to say is the Fiend of Fire. You fight them here. I mean, the second time you come here. See, I know. You see, I'm, I'm blooming getting everything mixed up. I knew not to go in there, but I still went in there anyway. It's got to be nearly dead, surely. I've just got to keep on attacking until it's until it's done. Why did that deal 12 all of a sudden? I don't know. See, you probably if you've like played this game and you remember this dungeon well, you're probably like, ah, oh, yeah, he's going the right way. He's doing well. And then you're like, wait, why is he suddenly not going the right way? And then you probably listen to me saying, oh, no, you don't go this way yet. And you're like, yes, you do. And you're probably like, turn around. Go back. It would surprise me if you're doing that. Feel free to, because I'm not a moron. I mean, I've played this game a few times. I played it a few years ago originally on the Super Retro 16 emulator. Um, but then I eventually... Um, Oh, God's sake, I'm running away from this battle, can't be asked. Wasting magic. Nope. This can't be the way to go. Oh, it's another set. Mm, Should have fought. Should have fought it. But do I need to? That's the question. No, I don't. I know I'm probably being a fool by doing this, but who cares? You only live once. Oh, great, Medusas, how you doing? I remember when you was a boss in FF3 and you were so damn easy. As you can see, this is literally all they do. It's just race, you got to kill them quick. But they're easy. Um, I don't think they've ever attacked me. I mean, they could have an attack. But they just always use Ray, because obviously Medusas are always known to petrify. Why am I getting attacked from behind every time? Come on, Kane. Jump up, jump up and get down. Right, just gotta wait, just gotta wait, just gotta wait. Once Kane lands, boom, there we go. Time to go. You messed with the wrong dog. Whatever. There we go. 2574, amazing. Can you crack the whip and kill it? Hey, everybody cheer for Rydia. She's learning slowly. She's learning how to kill. 
Oh dear. Yeah, I knew this would probably take a, a long while, but it's taking even longer for me derping. But it's fine. At least it makes me do more battles. At least it gets me up. Possibly a few more levels than before. I was expecting to be on level 30 by the end of this. But probably going to be on 32. Hell, Kane's probably already on 32. N no, he isn't, but... He might be soon. 32 is probably a bit of an exaggeration. Oh, here we get this was the bit I remember. Why did I think about that bridge? Oh, I do not remember. That That bridge is for later. You go to that bridge the second time round. Just got to wait. Oh, look, it's another stone man. Yep. Stone man. Not stoner man. Stone man. Oh, wow, that did pretty good damage. Pretty red. Is ice good against stone now? I would have thought fire was good, but never mind. Here we go. Oh, here we go. There's Ruby Kante. Master Ruby Cunt. Oh, yeah, he's called Ruby Cunt. Well, he's called Ruby Cunt, but it's actually Ruby Kante, but yeah. Please be careful. Eblin has fallen, so the threat has gone. You'll take care of this place while I'm gone. So yeah, there's, there's the hint of um, a future boss. I didn't heal up, but YOLO. Hehehe, <laughs> Gorbis and Ruby can both are gone. Now I'm the leader here. Weird guy. Hush. Who's there? Oops. Cecil! Won't you call for help, Doctor? Don't take me lightly or you'll get burned. Makes me laugh. Now face my beloved child, Baonab. Yep, you heard that right. So yeah, I actually said earlier, um, not earlier, someone commented saying how far they think I'm in the game. I said 60%. In terms of dungeons, yes. In terms of time, no. Plus the side quests. There's only really, you know, there's only two side quests, but you've got a few extra dungeons or side dungeons that are not really side quests but in the end you get summon bosses to defeat like the one where you can fight leviathan and azura bahamut's lair um a few other ones see i'm not going to waste any magic on this form of balnab as you will see anyway Cure me up, please. Cure me up when September ends. Oh dear. You quite finished yet, Baonab, or...? Oh yeah, I must oil him! Yeah, you do that, whatever. 300 health it is. Something like that. Oh no, it isn't, it's just literally heal. Good impression, I will say. Do some cure twos, you know what it is. 39 minutes, that's not too bad. We'll just be dissed this episode. I believe once you get out, it's just literally making your way back to the uh, place. Uh, literally, I'm just going to make it back to the place and then that'll be it. Okay, it seems easy, doesn't it? That's it, you just go fight Lugie now. But nope, there's something else about it. Oh my dear. I will operate him. So here we go, directly now. So, cue boss battle music. Or maybe not. It'd been good to hear boss battle music, you know. Never mind. Right, now I'll use Lit 2 because it is robotic, so it makes sense. You know, now it's called Battle Nab Z. 
Here we go. Lovely damage. Nice, calm, peaceful music, kind of. Well, it played for the dolls, so it's a bit misleading, really. What's this button? Who are you going to do it to? Come on. Oh, he survived. Good. So, yeah, easy enough. I'll show you my real strength. So here we go. Now, the real fight. Yeah, this is where it is. I forgot that... Well, I remembered this part, but I just thought it would still come before. Watch. Yeah, it turns into some weird skeleton. I think it's a robot skeleton, so... Maybe it would be best to use lightning. I don't know though. I'll use lightning still. Come on, Rosa, there we go. Cure two on everybody. Fight. Well, it'd probably been best to do it to uh, just do it one to Cecil, but it's fine. Yeah, it, it is. A robot um, version, so yeah, it is best for that. Wow, he's missing with these attacks. Right now, I can cure to Cecil individually. Emission, oh dear. Oh, great damage, I will say. But I believe this is one that like it's kind of acts as like a burner. It just takes the health down, or does it? No, it doesn't even do that. He's literally so easy. It's ridiculous. I mean, that even happens. So yeah, I forgot what that is. That um thing. I don't know. But he should be dead soon. Everybody get a heal. I mean, I don't know if it was supposed to be easy on purpose because, like, as some intended sarcasm because Dr. Lugie thinks it's good. I don't know, but as I said, easy. And there's the tower key. Haha, <laughs> this Tower of Babel connects the ground and underground. Rubicant has already moved all the crystals to the upper world. Now I shall annihilate the dwarves with my super cannon. Ha ha ha. Now nah, you can go to that bit with the stairs. No, it isn't for this bit. Anyway, dwarves are in danger. We must stop the super cannon. We must destroy it. Or is it back here? Oh, no, it's back here. Oh, no, it isn't. Moron, never mind. Ignore me. So now it's time to make it back. And I mean, I thought this was um, enough for... For the Tower of Babel, and then I realised you do have to come back, and I was like, "Wow, they really want to shove this place in your face, don't they?" <laughs> but no hard feelings. But yeah, this bit it doesn't take too long to get back. But God, I, I supremely derped in this place. Well, I completely forgot where I want the hell, where I wanted to be going. Oh, oh, that nearly one shotted. Oh, great, Chimera, lovely. Oh yeah, let's just speed this up. Nobody wants to see a Chimera again, do they? No. Oh dear. Not good. Well, not good for Cecil anyway. Quite done. I think so. Right. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Should be fine. Look at that. Looks like I'm going to do all this. Without having to use a tent at all. Which would be amazing. So depending what this alert. Um, alerts. Of course it's a chimera. Of course it is. Come on. 
Yes, good. Don't want it using a blaze. I mean, it could have just done a singular attack, but yeah. Obviously, I've been fast-forwarding quite a lot of this as well, so it could have taken even an hour. But anyway. All those chests you see that are unopened. That's for another time. When you get when you go for a different way. Because you'll see soon why you can't go um, back in this way. And it wouldn't be of any help to you anyway, anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. I won't ruin anything, as I said. Goodbye, dwarves. Your fun is over. You, how did you get here? Get them. It's literally just three dark imps. It's not even a challenge. You could do this battle with your eyes closed. All you need to do... Like, as soon as you see the enemies, you're like, Oh, it's going to be easy. Hold A. Close your eyes. Wait for the... Do -do 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 also known as the fanfare. To highlight your victory. And you're done. How about this? No one can stop the super cannon anymore. But yes, they can. Oh, what? Yang, what are you doing? I'll take care of this. Go on, escape. No, don't. It'll explode. Go! Very, um, informative there. So I believe it just takes you all the way to the bottom. Yang, tell my wife to live for me. Open up, Yang. Yang, please, please don't do this. It was a good trip with you all. Yang, open the door. Ah! So, yep. He's just charged into that cannon. Sacrificed himself to make it go boom boom. Yang. Back to sad music again. Yeah, there's so much death and betrayal going on in this game, I tell you. Yeah, now I've got to get out, well, I, I could just get out, um, like this, but, I could just use exits. Are you kidding me? I can't even do that. Oh. Say it ain't so. Oh dear. Can't even escape easily. That's just bad. That's just hella bad. And then that's used. Of course it is. Oh, oh, fantastic, fan blimintastic, fan fa fantastic bombastic. Oh, now he's dead. I need to get to a tent and quick. Or maybe not. Oh dear, this isn't good, is it? That'll do. Right, now it's time to get out of here. Yeah, this is really annoying. I actually forgot about this. The sooner I get out of these floors, the least likely it will be that um, Chimeras are in normal battles. I don't believe they will be soon. I don't think they will be. Oh, God's sake. All I need to do is escape from that just very quickly, but no. Oh, dear. I just need to get away from these floors. I want to get out of the fourth floor. No more chimeras. Oh, for God's sake, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. It was very risky um, doing it without a tent, or without using a tent. It nearly did work. I'm going to have to go use the tent now, ain't I? Yep. It's fine now. What, 15? 15. 15! Oh, 
That's it, put your hand up. As you can see now, look, it doesn't get all of your MP up, but it will do for this. It does get most of your health up as well. If you've got over about 30% health, it should, should be fine. Anyway, I've got 10 minutes to get the hell out of here. And then once I get the hell out of here, I can go visit Giotz, wherever he is. Paralyzed, lovely. Para, para, paralyzed. Para, para, paralyzed. Oh, 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 oh. See, I probably didn't actually need to use a tent. Because I've got away from the battles that um, don't involve chimeras, but the enemies can steal damage if you're not careful. See, it ain't so. But I'm defeating these sons of bitches. Like, there's no tomorrow anyway, yeah. I might as well just take this off now. Do it normal speed. Oh! Para, para, paralyzed, para, para. Paralyzed. Whoa, 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 whoa. And yeah, I believe that um, the enemies aren't really that much stronger. But anyway, oh dear. Of course, you're behind. Need quite a lot there, Jesus. But yeah, as you can see, everything I did before proves that I wasn't under level during that part because it's taken me ages to go up levels normally. So that shows it, but wow, I didn't realise you could get four flame dogs in floor two. That would have been disastrous to get beforehand, I believe. Uh, well, that's what I think. I don't know. See, it ain't so. But yeah, once I get out of this area, I will switch from using ice arrows to um, whatever. Chop chop, 3054, amazing I will say. Anyway, how many arrows has she got left? Five ice arrows, well that's great. I have to do that then when I swap them out for now, you know. Got seven minutes to get out. Wow. Yeah, quite a large chunk of the game focuses on Babiels. You've got the Tower well, or just something set out like this. You've got the Tower of Zot, the two times you go to the Tower of Babiel, and something else with Babel in it I'm not going to mention yet. Anyway, you have amused me a lot. Golbez. This is all for play, kids. Farewell. So this is why you can't enter the bridge. Uh, can't enter it from the bridge at, at here because, yeah. But look who's coming to save the day. It's Sid. Just in time. Sid. So here he saved us. Where's Yang? He, to destroy the super cannon, I see. Poor Yang. Who's this girl? Rydia, the caller of mist. Shucks, they're coming. So he goes and gets a nice, um, freshly made airship in here. Can't we shake them off? Looks like they've modified the Red Wings. He's catching up. Give it your best, Enterprise. The engine can't last much longer. Cecil, take the control. Sid, what are you doing? Get out of the underground. I'll close the hole with this bomb. Oh, Sid, I wanted to see your children, Rosa, Cecil. But I guess I'll stay here for a while. Go to Baron and get my workers to help you. Sid, come on. Be good, Rydia. Hurry to Baron. So yeah, first you have to go to Baron. I believe. Oh dear, I don't remember. 
Gobez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the master engineer. So you have to go to Baron first, and then you come back to the underground. And it's very lovely. There we go. There we go again, and it's closed back up again. All the irony. That's two deaths, or is it? Anyway, Sid, why? It's too dangerous. We'll head toward Baron. So I'll go do the Baron bit first, I might as well. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. See, everybody, well, everybody's a bit of healing up again. I believe you do have to go to, the, yeah, you have to go to the castle itself. But yeah, you go visit the, um, oh, is it the engineers? I think, called, I think it's the engineers. See, you know, like, if, you, if you've played free, or seen me play free, and you'll know that um, in Saroni you get those um, engineers, I forgot what they're called, but they give you the Nautilus. And I believe they built it. I, I think you get similar people in the castle of Baron. But I guess I can see. Oh, yes, there, there they are, there they are, there they are. So, over to here. So, yeah, well, originally, as most people probably thought, you probably would be able to go back into the underground like, for ages on stuff. But anyway, Cecil, boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. And it allows you to grab the um, hovercraft, which you need. See, I think you might have one dungeon, actually, before you go to the cave and then back to Babel. I'm not sure, though. Anyway. There we go. Whoop, whoop. It's all done. Now you can hook and carry the hovercraft. Blah, 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 blah. So you got to get to Eblin and go to Babel. Anyway, Sid is... Oh, I can tell you're having trouble handling him. But I won't blame you. Well, good luck. Oh, they don't realise. He was trying to tell him, but yeah. I don't know why I went to do that. Just ignore that. Yeah, I do, I do believe you have to go to... Um... Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, God. Can you get it right, please? Oh, this isn't even on fast forward either. Oh, dear me. There we go. So you have to take it near Eblen. Here we go. You go over to that cave right over there. Oh, go in. The hovercraft, please. Thank you. God. Airships were annoying in 4, especially landing them, as you can see. Anyway, what cave is this again? Oh, yeah, Cave Eblana. Actually, no, I think that, that is... That, yeah, that is how you get to um, Tower of Babel for the second time. Yeah, yeah. I, for some reason, I thought it was in the underground. How you got there, but no. Yes, um, what I thought was going to happen is going to happen. So, in the next episode, I'll be going through Cave Eblana, where I will meet a new character who is going to be in it for the rest of the game, along with Cecil, Rosa and Rydia. And maybe Kane, but I'm not revealing anything about him. Um, and he's going to be having a duel with a character we just met, Ruby Kante. And, once I get through Cave Eblana, 
I'll be going for Tower of Babel for the second time. And I might get both of those dungeons done. Because of how long it took me to go through the first part of Tower of Babel, I don't know how long it will take me to do this one. But I guess we can just wait and see. So, as I said, thank you for watching. And as I said, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I'll, uh, I said that just in case you don't see a Rayman video later today. And if I do, I will see you in that video. And I'll see you either on Tuesday or Wednesday. Where I will continue both this and Rayman Origins. But until then, with a massive thumbs up. All I'm going to say to you is goodbye and good night.